Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Leon from Buck and Slow Reloaders. At the range, I'm going to show y'all the bot flies, how these guys shoot. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but it's been really ridiculously hot in Texas. The hottest September on record. So when it's too damn hot to shoot, guys, it's just too damn hot to shoot. So yesterday, or tomorrow, tomorrow actually is the first time in 15 years that I'm missing the air archery season. Reason being, because this is way too damn hot. So, what we got today is the uh, Sevrog Bot Fly, the Bot Fly Slug. So, uh, we're gonna head out to the range and see how these will fly. Check y'all later. <laughs> So the first group of slugs I'm going to shoot, I'm shooting four, four groups today, uh, is uh, I got the bot fly that's attached to a BP-18 wad from Ballistic Products. That's where you can find those wads at. And you can see I got a really deep roll crimp on it, nice and deep. This is sitting on top of uh, 38 grains of blue dot and a two and three quarter inch cheddar hull. So stand by, we're gonna run about five or six shots, see how we do. Here's uh, here's group A, it's the uh, BP-18 wad, I'll tell you, bot fly, the 38 grains of uh, blue dot. Um, it's not too bad, at 50 yards, I would like it to be a little bit tighter than that. But uh, I will give you guys my chronograph reading, but something is not going on, or something's going on. There's no way these slows are coming out that fast. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking of my, chron my chronograph, and then we're going to get to group A. So y'all just hold tight. All right, so I made a little adjustments to my chronograph, so maybe we can finally get some good reads. Uh, this is group B. So group B has the BP 20 watt sitting on top of 35 grains of blue dot. Uh, you can't find these wads here in the States, so that sucks. But anyway, we're just gonna see how these bad boys shoot. So you guys hold on. Fellas, this is uh, this is group B right here. This is six shots. Uh, what's really important about this slug is you must get that screw as square and true into as wide as possible. If you don't, this will happen right here. This keyhole. So instead of the slug hitting 
flush and hit like this, you know. So, first three shots, this is what I'm looking for here. That's outstanding, you know. I'm not sure what happened with these two here. But this one here, you can see how it keyholes slightly. Uh, it didn't cut a perfect hole in the paper. You can see how it's kind of, it's got that little tail end right, right here. You can really see it here. So, guys, when you're reloading these slugs, make sure you get that screw as, as square and perpendicular and center and as wide as possible. So, we're going to go on ahead and check out the next group. Alright, so we're on to group C. Now, we're going to move over from blue dot to long shot. So, this particular slug is the same slug, same wad. It's the BP 18 wad. And these are sitting on 28 grains of long shot. So, it's kind of short slug. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but that roll crimp is extremely deep on this. Uh, oh, yeah, so the velocity on the last group, we were coming in at uh, around 1,275 feet per second on the last group. So, you guys stand by. We're going to get it done right now. All right, guys. I just shot the third group. Uh, I'm such an idiot, I forgot to hit record, but anyway, um, this is what I was getting with the uh, 28 grains of long shot, so pretty uh, pretty consistent readings right there. These are coming around about 1,300 feet per second with the long shot, so you guys can see that right there. So, I'm going to go back and... Uh, Go down rounds and see how we did. All right, so here we are. Uh, that's not too bad. I have one flyer up here. This is actually four shots. It's four shots right there. Two shots right here um, with the 28 grains of long shot with the BP 18 watt. <clears throat> not too bad. I'm not sure what happened on this one. I think that one, I might have got that one mixed up with another load, but because that one came in a, a lot hotter than these did here. So. Still not too bad. I'm gonna head on back and uh, wrap this bad boy up. All right, this is our last group. Group D consists of the BP uh, 20 watt with 28.5 grains of long shot. I promise this time I would definitely have the cameras rolling. So uh, see how these bad boys do. Felt like I threw that last shot. So this is going to be a little bit of bonus footage. Uh, this is one of my go-to slug guns. If you guys watch my videos, I absolutely love the H&R Ultra Slug Hunter. I picked up another one. Uh, slightly used. These things are kind of hard to find, and when you do find them, they run ridiculously outrageous prices for them. But I ended up paying $275 for this one. Came with a cheap Bushnell scope. I'm not too crazy about the scope, so I'm gonna ditch it um, once I break it in. So I'm just gonna see how it does with uh, one of my favorite slugs to shoot, which is the Lyman 525, uh, the Sable slug, the Pella slug. I got it sitting in the uh, Remington STS wad, uh, not wad, but hull, the uh, Chester AA 12, like the real ones, not the cheap clay buster knockoffs, but the real uh, AA 12 gauge uh, wad, <clears throat> and all that is sitting on top of Grains uh, of I've had great, really great success as far as accuracy wise at 100 yards with the slug. Just going to 
run it through through uh, through the newbie right here and, and see how she goes. This is going to be the last group, I promise. Here's those lineman slugs at 50 yards. Um, <clears throat> not sure what the hell happened here, guys, because I know for a fact that this particular load shoots like one hole at 50 yards. But I think it's that cheap. Let me show you all this scope. This is regular, it's not even a shotgun scope. Regular old Bushnell banner scope. Completely jumped for this application, but still not bad. However, I was able to go and dig up some of the botfly slugs from the berm. It's a dry sand. Y'all look at that expansion. Look at that. That is going to wreak havoc on anything it hits. So, uh -huh, man, can't wait to break these bad boys out this year for deer season. All right, guys, so that just about does it for today. Thanks for tapping. There's a couple of people I want to thank. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank products. These guys have been with me since day one. That's where I get all my reloading from. Uh, they got everything you need. Everything from shotgun wads to hulls to slugs. Uh, and even metallic stuff too as well. So check those guys out at ballisticproducts.com. I'll post a link in the, in the description down below. Also, huge special thanks to Sack slow mo company out of russia uh, i've got, got quite a few of the slug molds they make a great product they make a damn good mold mighty fine uh they produce so these guys out the slug i was shooting today was a bot fly the bot fly did not disappoint i can't wait to see what it'll do on a deer or especially with that expansion right there. That is ridiculous. So anyway, check them out. And uh, once again, thanks a lot guys. You guys be safe. And uh, I'll see y'all at the range.